Hey, Kevin. What hey. are you doing? I'm working on a gong for this commission. So this is going to be the gong itself. But I've got to curve this piece of quarter-inch plate to go in the, in the base of the gong over here. So I just get a little weld in the middle, and then we're going to get out the clamps and get out the oxygen acetylene and yeah, give everybody a good twist. But what I wanted to show you guys was my new cart. I made one. Come here, check it out. So when I got this Longevity Pro MTS the other day, this is the MIG, TIG, and Stick MTS. So it's all three processes in one box. Well, it actually takes two different kinds of inert gas. You have to have straight argon for the TIG, and you have to have argon and CO2 for the MIG side. Well, I looked around. I couldn't find a ready-built cart that would hold two bottles. They only hold one. So I thought, okay, I'll make my own. So, argon and MIG on the, or a, a mixed gas, you know, for, for the MIG on the back of it. Nice big wide platform. So now I can get the, the MTS up here, I can get my plasma cutter up here. There's the whole car, you know, there, there's the, the whole process right there. You got, you got all four functions that you would normally use when you're out here working. So I just built in a couple of shelves under it. So, you know, not only is your machine on the top, so now you got a supply shelf down here. And I want to make a little change now that I've had a chance to use it for a little while. I'm going to get a couple of drawer slides and go ahead and build the shelf to go sit in here and then take the same, take the same concept as this with all the different compartments in it and just build it right onto that shelf with a little lid to keep everything clean. That way you can just pull it out. Of course, you've got to move the cables out of the way. And this bottom space is actually big enough that I can get my water cooler out for the TIG once I get a torch that will fit this, this water cool, and I can put my water cooler here. So if I'm running any of the higher amperages when I'm TIG welding, I can go ahead and use that, and I don't wind up burning up the torch or burning up the hand. So you got to have some place to hang your torches, cables, what have you. So I made these little half hose reels bent this in the slip roll, cut this out with the plasma, welded that together, and then came in with this quarter by quarter solid stock and fit that to the top of that piece of 16 gauge just to cover that sharp edge so you don't cut the cable, weld it on on both sides just to finish it off a little, and then added this piece of plate not only as support for the shelf, but also give me some place to hang the reel itself. So, there you go. So you got to have some place to store the rods for the TIG. So this is just two inch inside diameter steel pipe that I just cut little rings off and welded those on. And then I got some two inch diameter outside polished it up a little, cleaned it up a little, so it's a little under two inch now. Welded a little cap in the bottom of it. And now it just sits here. One side here, different size on the other side. So I've got four extra rings on the back of the cart. Two on this side, two on the other. So if I want to put some aluminum on here, I want to put some stainless on here, whatever. It's just so I can have the rods that I would normally use rather than having to go back in the tool room to go find them. Uh, nice big hard wheels on the back so it's easy to roll. No shelf or anything that you have to pick the bottle up to get it into the, into the, uh, the tray on the back of the cart. Then I went ahead and put two chains on it to hold the bottles in place just because of the weight, you know, and moving the cart around, the bottles rocking around. Yeah. Now because it's running two different gases for the MIG and the TIG in the one machine. I actually found this over at the welding store and it's just a splitter. So I can run my argon in on one side, I can run my mixed gas in on the other, and then the outlet just goes right to the back of the machine. So all you have to do is turn on the argon, turn on the argon over here, 
use your TIG. When you're all done, make sure you close them both down. Close this down, close your bottle down, and you go to the MIG, you just reverse it and do it on the other side. That way there's no hoses to change, there's no extra fittings to worry about. It's all hooked up right here. So an extra little thing I added to the front of the cart, this is an old kitchen magnet, you know, where you'd hang your knives up on your on the wall, you know, up above your, your cooking area. It's all your metal tools. Just stick them right to the front of the cart. That way they're, they're easy to grab, you know, they're not going to wander off at least too far. <laughs> and uh, that's my little cart. Gonna have to give it a paint job someday. You know, maybe get some racing stripes or something. I don't know. <laughs> so how long have you been using it, Kev? Uh, I've been using this cart now for oh, about three weeks, I guess. You know, since I got it all together. You know, just you know, trying to refine it a little. And like I said, I want to put the pull-out tray in there. I think that'll be an improvement. Um, you know, a little, little more cable management. You know, maybe add an extra reel or something to coil some of the other cables too, just to kind of neaten things up, tidy it up a little. But you know, it's a work in progress. It's something you're always going to be playing with. Hope you guys like it. We'll see you next time.